Good afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2014 model Subaru Forester XT Premium Wagon today. And there's quite a lot of features on this car. So we'll start off at the front of the car. Notice that it is fitted with HID headlights, therefore the need for the headlight washers as well. We've also got our driving lights right down in the bottom of our front bar. Finished in metallic silver, presents really well being a 2014 model. And as we move around to the driver's side of the car, a few things to highlight. We've got colour-coded exterior mirrors and door handles. You note that our indicators are also in our, in our uh, exterior mirrors as well. We really enjoy trains dri uh, driving past as we're doing videos. Fitted with factory colour-coded... Um, <laughs> factory alloy wheels, I should say. Also really good tyres on our... On our on our car as well, probably about 80% tread on the rear and about 70% oh, tread on the front. Also important to note there are no scratches on our alloy wheels either. And as we move around to the rear of the car, a uh, few things to point out that we've had added to the car. Obviously a tow bar was added uh, when it was purchased originally, which gives us the ability to tow 1.8 tonne. Uh, it is also fitted with a reverse camera. Um, and being the XT Premium, we've got symmetrical all-wheel drive as well. A tailgate spoiler up the top with a high mount stoplight also. And as we're looking at the car from the rear, you notice also fitted with Rhino rack roof racks as well. So as we move around to the passenger side now, the consistency continues. Once again, I have a look at the alloy wheels and it tells you a lot about the previous owner. There's not a scratch on either of these as well. Um, and the overall paintwork for a car that's done around 61,000 kilometres and country kilometres as well, I've got to say it presents really well. Probably, apart from a minor little stone chip right there, there's not really anything else cosmetic I can pick to detract on this car. Now, last but not least, whilst we're on the outside of the car, also fitted with a factory sunroof. And they're a good size sunroof in the Subarus, which we'll actually demonstrate that a little bit later in the video around at the front of the Subaru now and we'll have a little bit of a chat about the performance of the car. Powered by a uh, two litre two litre uh, turbo motor, it's certainly going to give us a lot of performance this car. 177 kilowatts of power, 350 newton metres of torque, still delivering 8.5 litres combined per 100 k's. So we're going to get 706 kilometres out of a tank uh, that is 60 litres capacity. Back around to the rear of the car now. We'll have a have a bit of a look in the uh, storage area at the back here. As you can see, fairly ample storage. Um, obviously, the original owner did buy this additional protective uh, genuine factory mat just to protect our carpets, which, as you can see, present like brand new. Underneath our cover there, as you can see, full-size factory alloy wheel. We do keep the tow bar tongues locked inside the car. Our spare wheel it has a brand new tyre on it as well, so that it's never been utilised on the car since new. Also, we've got our cargo blind there as well, so they've obviously purchased that with the purchase of the new car. And if we need additional storage in the back of the car, simple matter of hitting on either of those buttons on either side, um, and it does drop the backs of our second row seats down. Um, just to give it that additional storage area. So here we are inside the Subaru now and there's a fair bit to like. It's got plenty of options inside the car. Starting on our driver's armrest, all of our power window switches, our controls for our exterior, exterior mirrors up the top there as well. Over here we can uh, set the height that our tailgate opens to. It is also electric, which I haven't demonstrated today. Push button start because we have two factory proximity keys. Uh, then we move to our steering wheel on our indicator stalk. As you can see, the auto headlights will turn themselves on automatically. And then we've got a telescopic steering wheel, so it's height and reach adjustable. Set ourselves up where we're nice and comfortable and lock it into position. We've also got auto wipers as well, which will turn themselves on automatically. Over on our right-hand side of our steering wheel, got all of our controls for our cruise control, all our buttons for our cruise control. And then we've just got a couple of sports modes directly below that. Over on our left-hand side, we've got all of our volume controls, plus our Bluetooth buttons there as well. It does have paddle shift, which I'll talk about further a little bit later. And our steering wheel is leather wrapped. Moving up into the center control section there, 
Uh, there was another button you saw down in the bottom of the left-hand side of the steering wheel, which actually reads us all of our information about what the car's doing, um, shows us exactly exactly our fuel consumption, um, all of those distance to empty, all of the information that uh, you're basically feeding out of the car. To the left-hand side there, you can see we've got our climate control air conditioning settings there also. Um, simple matter of setting that to automatic and away we go. We move to our other multi-function screen, which of course does uh, have satellite navigation. As we mentioned earlier as well, we select reverse and there's a, a fantastic reverse camera, really clear image behind the car. And then back into here, uh, we've got all of our audio set up as well. Obviously Bluetooth, AM, FM, stereo also. So it's all there at the touch of our touch of a fingertip. Climate control aircon, as I mentioned, all our master controls here. Down below that, a 12 volt outlet, a little storage compartment there. Being the premium model, it does have heated front seats also, and it does also have uh, additional traction control there as well. Uh, we've got our six speed auto transmission. Drive it as a normal auto or move across into manual mode and drive it by either using the paddles on the steering wheel enables us to change through the gears that way. Handbrake to our right hand side, good size cup holders there as well. And then a very large storage compartment here with a little coin tray. We do have our auxiliary and USB inputs there as well. And then all of our tools just down the bottom there, just to remove our roof racks if we don't wish to have them on the car. Scanning around the interior now, as you can see, full leather interior. Also leather infills in our door trims as well. All of our factory carpets in perfect order because we've got the car mats as well. Uh, premium Subaru sound in our audio. Does also have seven airbags, I believe, this car. Uh, front side and curtain airbags and also has a knee airbag for the driver, therefore enabling it to achieve a five-star ANCAP safety rating. Now this vehicle was traded in to us by, as I mentioned, people that live in the country. So we'll have a quick look at the servicing of the car as well. And pretty much here we go. Look at the service history. Every stamp since new, all the way up to its current mileage, which is 62,000 Ks. I think I said 61 earlier. Uh, we have done a current in intermediate service on the car as well. Uh, it just needs to be stamped in the book just to confirm that. Last but not least, how could I have forgotten these things because I didn't look up above myself. As you can see, we've got forward mitigation uh, collision warning and we've also got lane departure warning as well. So these buttons enable those safety features. And as we mentioned earlier, we've got our really good sized sunroof, which as you can see from the push of a button, opens it up automatically. And as we mentioned earlier, a really good sized sunroof. Don't know that it's such an attractive look at, uh, looking out at the uh, roof rack, but um, in the event we, we want the light coming into the car, but we don't want the wind, um, certainly just close it back up and we can open our cover if we wish. So in summary, a really impressive example of a 2014 Subaru Forester XT Premium Wagon powered by a two litre turbo motor, certainly going to give you the performance, but at the same time still gives you really good fuel economy. Eight and a half litres combined per 100 k's. Uh, it's got everything being the premium, so satellite navigation, reverse camera, leather interior, heated seats, forward collision mitigation, lane departure warning, cruise control, sunroof, you name it, premium sound, I could go on and on. Um, but you're best to give us a call on 990 and we'll give you all the other information you need.